I've had an extraordinary year getting to know the orphans. I just wish that I'd been able to say goodbye to Emily, the remarkable matriarch that allowed me into her herd. But I think I might have one last chance, because we've been tipped off that she's been seen nearby. It's Emily. With Aitong, her great chum from the orphanage, this is the first time that I've seen them since they left the rest of the orphans and went off on their own. You know, I would desperately love her to come over here or be with the keepers, walk out on foot and just say hello. But this is good news. I mean, she is completely unconcerned about us. She's not interested in the vehicle. She's not interested in me. She's being a wild elephant, and that is the whole object of the exercise. You know, I just love the thought that this is a new beginning for Emily. She's back in the wild. She survived that terrible trauma when she was orphaned. And she's got the beginnings of her own family, and maybe in the not too distant future. She'll have her first baby. And I tell you one thing, if she does, I'm gonna be back here to see it. Having the chance to follow the lives of these orphan elephants through a year filled with heartbreak and triumph has been an unforgettable experience. But best of all is when you see, as we have, that all the hard work, the love, the dedication, it all pays off. And these lost little Ellies really can make a life for themselves among the wild herds. And that's exactly where they belong. They were ridiculous, I